All right, uniforms, oh, everybody's favorite topic. Um, so we have a uniform policy that I will tell you is um, for my kids to be able to say, like, here's your uniform drawer, you just choose what matches what, and here we go today. Um, I like it, but everybody has some different opinions about uniforms. The things that we always have to remind kids about, number one, no jewelry. We don't do any jewelry at Rogers. Um, skirts, if your student chooses to wear a skirt, something needs to be to the knee. If it's not the skirt itself, and they should still be wearing some shorts underneath the skirt. If the skirt itself isn't to the knee, then leggings or shorts or something else should be to the knee. It just keeps our kids more comfortable when they're out of recess, when they're running around. Um, shirts, there's six colors that they can wear. I would say 99% of the kids wear a polo shirt if they wanted to wear like a nice white dress shirt, they'd be welcome to do that. But most of the kids wear a polo shirt. Six colors, red, black, white, navy blue, light blue, forest green. Note that I didn't say maroon and I didn't say royal blue, and I know that sounds nitpicky, but our colors are red and navy blue. So please don't purchase maroon shirts or royal blue shirts. And then sweatshirts, same story. They need to be those same six solid colors. Um, a hoodie is fine, a zip up is fine, a crew neck is fine. In the past we've said, you know, as long as they're wearing their Camp My Vin sweatshirt outside and not wearing it inside, that's okay. Okay, but let me tell you guys, your kid is not going outside in their Camp My Vin sweatshirt and then coming inside and switching it out for their school approved sweatshirt. That's just not happening. And so what we've said to kids this year is that any sweatshirt they have on campus, whether they're wearing it inside or outside, it needs to be a school approved sweatshirt. So that means just solid, no words, no Nike, no tie dye, no whatever. Now, when it's winter and it's cold and they're wearing coats, coats are a different story. So we, we had a big long conversation in staff about what's the difference between a sweatshirt and a coat. And when I'm talking about coats, I'm talking, and you could call it a parka, you could call it a jacket, but I think you know what I mean when I say like a coat. Any coat is fine for outside, but if you're talking about a sweatshirt, a lightweight sweatshirt with a little hood or a little zippy, they need to be one of those six solid colors. Okay, moving